I get a horse really good at finding a halt and settling, settling in. So this is another place that people that people don't give their horse a lot of time. And he's interested to a point, so I'd let him smell it. Right past the rear, bring him to me. That's kind of interesting because that is what we did with the brush. Rub him with that. Come right past the rear, or an arc around, draw him to me. Good. It would be possible, just like the brush and brushing on the move would be, what if I lead ahead and ask him to move his feet and come forward a little bit? And I'm purposely bumping him with the pad a little because he is flinchy, but this will help prepare me for the girth of my leg. And then settle, ground out. Bring your life down to the ground and settle out. Good. It's a little bit windy, so we'll go ahead and put the the gel pad here right on and he's a little he's a little bony yet so giving him a little bit of a gel a gel pad arrangement here he's in, he's breathing and he's looking at me that's great Good. And let him, letting him just take his time. Brought that head up a little bit, but all in all, not too bad. I might just step, have him step towards me. Something that we have to do many times is have him draw to us. Wear that saddle, come to me. If your goal is to just get the saddle on, you're gonna miss a lot along the way. And saddling is really an important, an important step to getting your horse calm. And for some people, saddling, they, they, go for the, they go for the girth and they pull up and the horse gets braced. They get stiff, they pull, and then they ride and they wonder why the horse is nervous about their leg and they brace. So if I can get this horse to saddle, draw around, think, because he's a little stiff here in the neck. So could I just get him to come around a little bit? What's he thinking? Look at those eyes. Oh, that's good. And walk away. That little step right there, he might really calm down and settle in for you. And as I approach, I'm going to help keep him straight. So I'm directing with my lead rope. Approach. Give him a little bit of time. If I can time it to when he exhales, if I could pull up, that would be great. But I, I'm still just nice and loose with the girth. It's good. It felt good to him here. Oh, as I reached up, he, he got nervous about that. Now, he also felt that girth. And he settled in right there. You could see the licking and chewing. But he felt that girth, and he moved. He, they breathe in, and they feel that around their belly. Sometimes they, they get a little surprised. Good. Looking for him to just look. All right, excellent. Now what if I turn, stand up, turn, lead? And look, a mounting block. Excellent. Ah. He felt that he felt that girth there. Now he did want to. Oh yeah, we'll let him. We'll work this here for a second. <laughs> see if we can get smooth motion forward here. You can see him lift his back up, and he's coiled up, and he feels that that girth a little bit. He can get his belly lifts in right there. He got a little smoother. I'll walk away. I'm careful. I'm always able to stop good. He's sort of licking and chewing. His expression's bright. 
send him off again. Let's see if he can settle in here a little bit. Those stirrups are gonna fall down and that's, that's part of life. Your leg's gonna be down there too, so. I'm not necessarily asking for the canner, it's what he's offering. He's trying, he's getting smoother, so I'll take that. Notice I step out of the center. Get out of the middle, draw him to me, there. Now I, would, uh, I will approach when I feel that he settles a little bit more and he brings that life down. Look at, there's not a lot of blinking, good. There's a little shift. He's settling in a little better. Just adjust that a little bit. I know I only have one iron down and that's, that's okay. We'll get this other iron here in just a second. Now I'm purposely, purposely dropping those irons down. I won't do that every session. And some people are very bothered by that, that you'd let your irons down lunging. But then again, they're probably the same people that spur their horse in the ribs anyway. So this is just something that we need to do so they, they get used to this down here. It's good. It's good. Looking for smooth movement forward. Watching, I'm looking at the whole horse. Taking in the whole horse. Let's get a little more motion, a little more life in there. See if he can figure out where to put his, his feet. Here he's united at the canter. He's still drawn up and intense, but it's okay. Trying to keep just, maybe we'll just keep a little canter going here. And the idea is smooth motion forward. I'll take this, all right, ready? Step out of the center. Draw him in. On a horse that's a little bit sensitive like that to the girth, I'm, you, you probably don't want to back him up right now. Just encourage smooth motion, calm, relaxation, come forward. And if you go to back him up, he could pull back. We don't want to cause that. We don't want to have that happen. It's good. It's good. If I step up here, maybe he finds a nice place here to settle in. Take that. How about a little further? Good. Reach up. Now I'm still able to tip his nose towards me. So notice the licking and chewing right there. I think he kind of likes that spot on his, ah, he does like that spot on his rump that I'm rubbing here. He, if he looks away, what if I just stand tall and lead him, encourage him to lead ahead? He, he, he'd rather stay with me because he found a place to, to rest there. But I want smooth motion forward. First, we'll get that. First, we'll get forward motion. Just at the walk is fine. Now, if I reach up, we could move that hindquarters a little, bring that front end through. This is not the place for you to teach your horse to move the hindquarters over and to bring the front end through. That you would want to work on on the ground first. Good, look at this. See him get ready? Very important tip. Here's a little thing for you that's really a big thing. At this point, when he brings the saddle to me, let your arms down, let your posture settle like you did on the ground. You're not always pulling them to you. I'll show you what I mean. I see people, they get on the block, the mounting block, and they want that horse to stop. So what they do is they pull the horse in and they pull the nose in. And what happens is the hindquarters drifts out. And then the horse learns to position themselves in such a way that they take the saddle away from you. So let me show you this again. It's almost like I want him to glide in, like I'm docking a boat. And so I, pull, I might direct him in a little bit, but then when I know, right there, I notice he's ready, I'll let my arms down. 